go to full screen here. Let's see if I can correct some of those mistakes. And please, you guys, um, in lecture emails, let me know. When you notice I make audio mistakes, let me know, because I want to correct them as soon as possible. So one mistake I noticed I was making was I was talking about atomic pairs, when in fact I should have been using like an atom partner in describing covalent bonds. So if we have two atom partners involved in a covalent bond, right? If both of the atom partners, their electronegativity is the same or almost the same, we're going to form a nonpolar covalent bond. Then if we have two atom partners involved in a covalent bond, and there's a significant difference in the electronegativity of the um, two partners, then we're going to form a polar covalent bond. The atom partner with a higher electronegativity will have a partial negative charge. The atom partner with a lower electronegativity is going to have a partial positive charge, and thus that will be called a polar covalent bond. Then in the next slide, when I was describing the hydrogen bonds formed between water molecules, I think I made a mistake. I said well, I won't, I won't repeat the mistake, okay? So I should have said in describing the, the hydrogen bond that the partial negative of the oxygen of one water molecule will form an attractive force with a partial positive hydrogen of another water molecule, and that will be the hydrogen bond. So the hydrogen bond is between a partial negative of one atom and a partial positive of another atom. So again, folks, just... Um, email me, let me know in lecture or lab when you've noticed I've made a mistake in the audio portion, and I'll do a movie correction. So um, I'll just I'll post those right under the original PowerPoint. Okay, thanks you guys, thanks for your patience, and I hope these audio recordings are helping, helping somewhat, or helping some folks. Thanks, okay, let's see.